Hi, I'm Jim Fuller with Wessels Company. I'm here to talk to you about the Smart Tank and some of the features of the Smart Tank and some things that are troubleshooting, requirements, and things that you can do to help yourself in a pinch. So let's talk about the Smart Tank. Smart Tank was introduced a few years back to differentiate the Wessels Tank from any other tank out in the marketplace. And let's look at some of the features that this has. First, there is a cover plate that allows you to get to the internals and it protects during shipping. There are three components that are on the side of each one of the tanks. Previous units used to have an air charge valve on the on top of the tank. When it was there, if it was a very tall tank, it meant having to get onto a ladder. Currently, we've moved that to the side of the tank for ease of changing the precharge air pressure within the tank itself. In here, you will see the pressure gauge. And the pressure gauge has two needles. First needle is the black needle. That black needle will show the pressure, air charge pressure within the tank. Then there's a red follower needle. That red follower needle follows the black needle to the high pressure. And then as it detracts from that high pressure, it leaves the red needle in its place. So that's your first area for troubleshooting the tank. If that pressure goes up and pegs the, the pressure on the uh, uh, gauge itself, then we know that there's an issue. The third feature is that of the West View. The West View is a color changing desiccant. But what I want to talk about today is what that actually does. That unit will detect whether or not there is a issue with the internal bladder or the diaphragm. If the bladder or diaphragm were to have an issue and split, we could get water on the air side of the tank. That water changes the desiccant from white to red. You say, yeah, but I can get some other colors. I've seen those. What does that mean? Well, I've got some examples. For example, this one might come in and say, well, that kind of looks red, but it kind of looks brown. It kind of looks white. What is it? The issue can happen when you charge your tank in the middle of summer, when the air is very, very humid. And with that humid air, it can enter the tank and start to attack the desiccant. So there, that, that could give you a false positive. And there are steps to check to find out if that is a false positive. You will also see that sometimes you'll get a brownish look on the uh, West View. That brown look is usually an indication that using the compressor, there was oil in the compressed air that entered the system and turn that from a white to a brownish color. And then lastly, you may find out that you've got a black color. The black color doesn't make sense at all, does it? No, it's, it, it's something that you're, you're looking at and saying, why would it turn black? Well, glycol systems has the effect that if the bladder were to let go and you got glycol on the air side and it hit the west view, some glycols can turn that black. So it is important that you understand that there are certain things that can change the color of that desiccant that might not just be white or red. There could be some things that are set up that, that create some differences. So if you do have one of these issues, the unit itself can be changed out. So let's talk about the steps. First step to change out is to make sure that you've relieved any water out of the tank. So you want to make sure that if you have a shutoff on the system, you shut that off and you allow the water to come out of the tank. Secondly, you press the charge valve. If that charge valve starts with water coming out of the charge valve, you know that the, the bladder is gone and you need to replace the tank if it's a diaphragm tank or replace the bladder if it's a bladder tank. If you're getting air out, that doesn't mean you're out of the woods. But what you need to do at that point, if you are looking to change out your West View, is you need to remove, use a valve core remover, remove the valve core to allow the pressure, air pressure out of the tank to be relieved to atmosphere. At that point, you can take out the West View and, and then you could put in the new West View. What if you don't have a new West View? Starting with some needle nose pliers, you'll notice that on the West View, there is a lock washer on the back. Remove the lock washer. The lock washer is holding a spring. holding a spring, the spring back that is holding a screen. 
from that screen, you'll see a red disc. You remove that red disc, and then you clean until you have what would look like just a see-through type sight glass. With the sight glass, you want to put in the secret formula for the desiccant, salt. All right, the salt is the actual desiccant, and you're, you're going to want to put in uh, like a half, a half a teaspoon or so. Not even, maybe a quarter teaspoon, until it covers the sight glass. Then you put in your red disc, your screen, your spring, and your lock washer, and put it down, and that is now ready to go as the Westview. So it is very simple to change, and if you're in a pinch to try to get something back in operation, it's a lot faster than having to wait for the factory to send you out a new Westview to go back to the job to fix it. So that kind of goes through some of the troubleshooting aspects of the Westview. If you would like to uh, get more information, please visit westtank.com. If you found this video helpful and informative, please like, subscribe, and drop a comment below. Thank you.